Greetings once again, the agents of Overwatch. Doos, doos, doos. Back again with another Overwatch cinematic trailer. This time, it's Malga. Yes, time of recording, Malga is on his way, about to re enter Overwatch. And on top of that, in order. In honor of the coming of Malga, he has taken over the Twitter and has been running rampant in the funnest of ways. I always forget to check Twitter for stuff like this happening on the Overwatch page. Regardless, it's been a fun time. And while this isn't a CG animation, their 2D animation hasn't been half bad. So join me in checking out the average day in the life of Malga, won't you? Yes, bring on the blood, bring on the violence. Ooh, Sombra! Huh, nice. <laughs> Enter. Where's Malga? I'll kill him. Success. Smokey got the power relay data just like nice okay this animation is pretty smooth it's so wild to actually see them animated though oh. well most of it most of it and it's so wild to actually see a talent mission this is kind of cool what i wanted was a clandestine operation. Clean, surgical, and precise. You just destroyed a 300,000 ton null sector carrier in broad daylight. I could see the explosion from space. <laughs> they destroyed a null sector carrier? Oh, to get what was on it. So, we ran into a few problems. <laughs> I am listening. <laughs> Reporting to the boss. Problems? Oh god, we're doing it like this. Ah, oh, this kind of makes me think of the Junker Town short. Oh, this was the ship from Gothenburg. Okay, so this is happening. What? A little after the invasion? The stuff that was released for invasion a little while back. Time of recording. Never even made it back to base. Yeah. So well. No. Okay. Because we see Widow and Sombra going after Zenyatta, so... Hmm. Oof. Yeah, Reaper! How do you feel about the Sombra re rework? It's actually been pretty good. It limits you in a few ways, but it also is like... I mean, if you could play a good Sombra, ooh, baby. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is supposed to be surgery. We don't need a butcher. We don't need you. Then why did you bring him? Probably as backup, just in case. Oh, are they operational? Worry. They're dead. Deactivated, and I wasn't worried. Oh, what is that? Is it sinking? Really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys know what we should do? Oh. Yeah, we should grab the data. You know, like we planned. Oh, and they're activated. Why? Okay, now I can see you need Malga. Jeez. <laughs> Okay. Time to tell me all your secrets. Yes. Yeah, hey, just I take the stuff and go. Our relay system. Hey, hey, are we uh, taking suggestions? Just hold the perimeter. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Malga. <laughs> oh god. And then he just runs off. Was he gonna shoot him? What is he doing? Not sticking around. How long? Almost. <laughs> Nice. Gonna pull a little die, die, die. Okay. Oh <laughs> god, he's just off having fun. 
Alert no sector. Oh. Stop. Very illuminating. But are you saying he's no longer loyal to us? Okay, kinda. The question, are they gonna terminate Malga or not? You can have his loyalty. Malga is a loose cannon, and I don't trust him. <laughs> loose cannon with cannons. Not without the data. Okay, let's play. <laughs> oh, she got it. Oh, oh, did her what should we call it get the damaged? Yep, it did. Which is funny because her ability doesn't even work like that anymore. <laughs> you have to actually run for it. See, now it works like that. I mean, he didn't set off the robots, did he? I mean, maybe that first shot he took. But nothing you've really said here says that Malga's to blame for everything going south. A partial victory. Is no victory at all. A partial victory is no victory at all. I mean, dude, you got what you wanted, they bounced. And the story. Deal with Malga. Deal with okay. him. Deal with you. Deal with him how? Oh. Oh. Hey, Psalms. What did the big man say? Oh, let me guess. Handle. He doesn't mess around, does he? We did our job. We came up short because of you. Aw, oh, that ain't fair. You know I'm always looking out for you. I love his voice. I brought you a souvenir. A souvenir? <laughs> ain't nothing more fun than a sinking ship. And if there's one thing I know, oh. it's ships. Oh, okay. So he was up to something. Yeah, I tried to tell you earlier, but you look kind of busy. So I took a walk. If DF really wanted the plans to build his new power thingy, oh, would it be if we actually just got him there. All right, the core you had to destroy. Okay, I thought it was what they were getting, but when Somber went to that little hollow room or whatever, I'm just like, huh. So it's just schematics? Weird. So this is what they were after. Ah, oh, dude, it's even relevant to the actual plot of Invasion, the first mission in Rio. They wouldn't be needing it anymore. Especially that's why it set sure. off so much. Oh, and that's why he destroyed the satellite. In order to not have anything relayed back to Null Sect. Oh, <laughs> yo. I'm like, was he firing at the bird? It's like, no. God, this guy. And yeah, removing the core set off everything. Alright. God, I don't know why I wasn't even thinking about that. I've played the mission. I know how this works. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. Clever bastard. That <laughs> he gets to have fun in the process. His charge attack. Oh, yeah, that's not really a mission you take on by yourself. Jeez, he's a monster. No problem. you give Doomfist that, and he'll be all smiles. Looks like you owe me one. Ooh, you owe me one. Ooh, he. Oh. Okay, he plays this real smooth. He doesn't take the credit, but he gets in Sombra's good graces. And like you said, she owes him one. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> but who's counting? Hey, this was fun. Want to do it again sometime? You know where to find me. <laughs> Dang. What a guy.
guy. Now this was a great day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is wild. Man, I really gotta tell you, with each little added detail about Maga, dude is fun. Cause I remember him from the Baptiste short. I, I said it during his uh, introduction thing. I remember him from the Baptiste short. And he didn't seem all that smart. He seemed charismatic, which we see on full display here. But it wasn't to this elevation. Cause now it brings in the question, did he let Baptiste go on purpose? Was that the intent? You know, he played it up like he was really trying to take out Baptiste, but we know the guy's sweet on Baptiste. Not to mention, it's very apparent that Malga, he plays things in such a way that he skirts the line as much as he can. What can he get away with without getting into full-on trouble? I think that was even kind of a question in the Baptiste story, which really did endear us to Malga to begin with. You know, Malga's personality really shone through. And and I actually love that they've leaned into that. And we see constantly, he's someone who can get in over his head from time to time. But at the same time, he's always thinking. Even when it seems like he isn't, he is. And yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Sombra throughout this short was Malga's biggest criticizer. And it's like he recognized that and was like, okay, let me, let me show her what I'm about. He doesn't want the credit. He just wants someone who has a lot of sway, a lot of ability on his side. Oof. Because it's basically getting Sombra at her own game. She, her want for powerful allies and the like. But also the fact that Sombra, despite everything, does have a softer side in a lot of situations. And with this, Malga might have actually played into that. And now, should he ever need a favor? She's got him. Should he ever be in trouble? She's got him. Should he ever be in a non-favorable position in with Talon, she's got him. And Sombra having your back? Hmm, that's, that's pretty good. Cause at the same time, he may very well know that she's not all in with the Talon rhetoric like he is. They're both kind of, you know, doing their own thing just in different ways. And playing to Sombra? Ooh, that's good. That is good. There's so many levels to that. Not to mention I finally found out about the both hearts pumping thing. It's just like he was implanted with like one like souped up heart and then had his other heart replaced with an artificial one too. So it's just like this dude, whew, he's all thrills, no chill. Except when he does. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the animation style here. Some scenes looked a little bit like eh. But as it went on, when it really needed to count, oof. Good animation. And just seeing Reaper and Sombra actually work together in a good situation. After Sombra's animated short, it does kind of raise the question, especially with how Reaper, you know, essentially, Reaper and Sombra's relationship in her short is similar to how Malga and Sombra's relationship is here. That distrust, that critical nature, that feeling like they're just playing around. But both characters had their own agenda at the end of things. But whereas Sombra didn't really care if she got back in Reaper's good graces. We see that ultimately Reaper does trust Sombra to a certain extent, but both Malga and Sombra sought out an ally. And I, I have to wonder, Sombra's thing with Volskaya didn't really work out too well if you read Zarya's comic, but I have to wonder, will Malga's, you know, little appeasing of Sombra Will that work out for him in the long run? Time will tell. But I'm looking forward to more Malga. I'm looking forward to playing with him, against him, as him, everything. Looking forward to more lore. I wonder what's coming out next. A comic, another light novel, an animated short, a CG short. Can't wait for the next event. I mean, for me, Overwatch is really bolstered by its character. They're what draw me personally in. I also love the gameplay, but enough about me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Malga? What role will he play in the greater scheme of things? Is he just a side player? Or is he the main character of his own story? He certainly loves to play it as that. And were you impressed with him in this short? 
or is it all what you kind of expected ultimately? Let me know in the comments, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride, and until next time, I've been Deuce Diz Din, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.